Beloved leader, may the Lord bless you in the good work that you are doing with your group. Remember, next week is week of multiplication, and you have the daily uh, calls to action, and I hope you can follow them, because if you follow them in the week of sanctification, it's also a week of consecration and preparation for the next week of planting groups. If you could follow, by the grace of God, those seven steps, by the time the week of multiplication comes, it's going to be natural for you or for your group to grow. So may the Lord bless you. This week, uh, for our leaders, um, I have received like a prompting from the Lord to bring a specific word, especially for any leader. I'm, the similar message I gave into the Hispanic network as well. But I will address this especially to any leader that is being entangled in sin, any leader that is uh, maybe taking light the sinfulness and just saying, well, but I still have a ministry and the Lord still answers. So I have a word for you that will help you snap out of that and turn in, into the Lord. And it's in Hebrews 10.26. Dear friends, I like it before the big exhortation, the warm uh, words for the church. And the, the writer says, Dear friends, if we deliberately continue sinning, after we have received knowledge of the truth, there is no longer any sacrifice that will cover these sins. So, dear fellow leader, I urge you, if there is something that is entangling you, it may be a number of things. We all suffer temptations. But fear God over everything else. Fear the Lord. The fear of the Lord will keep you in holiness, not only the love of God, but the fear of God. Notice that in our generation of Christians, it has been sort of minimized, the fear of the Lord. But without that, I don't believe we can be consistent in holiness. We need to tremble at His Word. And we are not in an in a unholy terror, but rather a holy fear of God. You understand what I'm saying, right? So, especially if any of you is struggling with personal sin, anything in your life that maybe is reoccurring, maybe has been for years, maybe is something hidden, and you keep doing it, and maybe you got used to cohabitate with that sin, no more, in Jesus' name, no more. There is only one door to enter the freedom of the Lord, and it's through repentance. But some of you might say, Pastor, I already repented of this sin, this habit, this shameful addiction many times, but I always fall back. Then I'll say to you, repent another time again, but this time receive the fire of the holiness of God. When you have his fire, it gives you the strength to say to the devil, no, no more. And then I have another word, even stronger than the previous one for you. Hebrews 10, 31. It is a terrible thing to fall into the hands of the living God. And the word in Greek is more, more than terrible, horrible. It is a scary thing. Now, many people come to the arms of God and they receive healing and forgiveness and restoration. But how terrible it is when we fall into the hands of the Lord in judgment. So, fear the Lord. Don't give up on yourself. Say, Lord, if you forgive me once, you for can forgive me again. And my friend, if once you repent, once you on your knees, maybe crying, say, Lord, forgive me again, I renounce to my sin, then find a mentor someone that is more mature than you, and someone in this network might be, and ask that person, help me, because I repented, the Lord forgave me, 
but now I need your help to train me, to equip me to walk in holiness the rest of my life. 